stayed in the Air Hostel Hotel. It was really nice. I mean, we had a really good experience with that one in Brussels, but this one was even nicer. It's, I guess it's kind of closer to the capsule hotel style. You can pull curtains, there's lights on the inside. It's just a little bit more private. The only downside I'll have to say to this place is that it is the noisiest tiny street I have ever been on in my entire life. And we had to keep the windows open because it was kind of warm in there. But got a really cool vibe. They serve free breakfast in the morning. Overall, I'd say nine out of 10. This place was awesome. But I'm ready to check into our apartment in the heart of Barcelona. Welcome to our apartment for the weekend. We chose a two bedroom, two bath apartment within a five minute walk of Las Ramblas, one of the most famous and touristy streets in all of Barcelona. Although small, it was plenty spacious enough to accommodate four adults. I'll include the link below. Our host was kind enough to allow us to check in at 9.30 that morning, giving us a great jump on the day. So Jake and I have been wondering what it would be like to travel with a baby in Europe. So we did something a little crazy today. We decided to rent one. This is called Barcelona with a baby. So far, so good. Uh, I'm getting a lot of great looks. People think he's adorable, uh, but he is slightly heavy and very warm. It's a hot day and his body heat is absolutely roasting my stomach. Update, we're two hours in, it is not going well. I have no idea how to suit him. Nothing I'm doing is working. Oh, I think we're okay. Oh, never mind. Not okay. Just give him Magic. You're a natural. Incredible. We are about to hop on the city bus, hop on, hop off tour with the baby. It's going great. Uh, I think we got it down pat. This thing makes it much easier. He's having a blast. Yeah, I don't know what everyone complains about, honestly. This is like the easiest thing ever. Yeah, it seems fantastic. Yeah. yeah. should go inside because it's pretty expensive to go inside. I think tickets are like 26 euro per person. But we just checked out some pictures on Google and I think we're gonna shell out the cash and we're gonna do it. This place is designed by Gaudi and there are tons of places all over Barcelona that are also designed by him. You can find his works everywhere. But let's head inside. Never mind. Turns out we're five minutes too late. Alright so it's six o'clock our time with the baby has expired so it's time to return it. Overall, I think we did pretty good for not being parents ourselves. I would definitely recommend traveling with a baby. It is doable. Yeah, but it is time to return him, so yeah. here you go. <laughs> Our awesome friends Charlie, Haley, and their precious baby Sloan are here with us in Barcelona, and they were kind enough to let us borrow Sloan for the day. Not All right, so no nap fun. time. <laughs> Everything we've tried to do today hasn't worked out. So we've got 30 minutes until Park Guild closes and we're gonna try and make it. We're booking it up this hill. We'll see if it happens. just in time. We thought that the park closed at 7.30 and we were squeaking in right at seven, but we found out that ticket sales and like entrance stops at 7.30, but we could actually stay here until 10 o'clock. So we were here at the perfect time. We got to see the entire sunset over Barcelona and look how empty this is. 
This is like one of the most photogenic sh uh, spots in all of Barcelona and we pretty much have it to ourselves. So I would say that this is absolutely a win. We yep. needed that today. <laughs> yeah. So we just checked out this place. It's called Market de la Bocria and it is so cool. It's this huge open air market and it's got everything you can imagine. Meat in a cone, fresh shucked oysters that uh, Jake ate earlier. It was questionable, but it, he said it was really good. Candy, they've got all these really yummy looking fresh juices, chilies. And restaurants. Oh yeah, there's also restaurants. So, so my recommendation is to come down here and actually have lunch to see what else they have to offer. because it's supposed to be taking us around to the best office places in all of Barcelona. It's one of the things Barcelona is known for. We found this tour on Viator and it's got really good reviews, but let's see for ourselves. places that we wouldn't have otherwise gone. Yeah. We ate a lot of foods that we probably wouldn't have known to pick. Yep. Yep. And to get the inside scoop on both the food scene and some really cool history along the way was, yeah. was excellent. I absolutely recommend it. I will leave the description for that tour and the link for it down below. <laughs> 